A vendor at a, food, at a food court is in the process of automation, automating his order management system. The vendor serves the following menu, veg roll, noodles, fried rice, soup and also maintains the quantity available for each item. The customer can order any combination of items. The customer is provided the item if the requested quantity of item is available with the vendor. Write a Python program which implements the following functions. Place order with item table as a parameter. This function accepts the order placed by the customer. Consider it to be a variable length argument as each customer may have a different order. The function should check whether the items requested are present in the vendor's menu and if so, it should check whether the requested quantity is available for each by invoking the check quantity available method. Check quantity available method, the description is give, given here. The function place order should display appropriate message for each item in the order for the below scenarios. When the requested item is not available in the vendor's menu, display item is not available. When the quantity requested by the customer is not available, dis display item name stock is over. When the requested quantity of, the, of them is available with the vendor, display item is available. Check quantity available function which has two parameters index and quantity requested. The function should check whether the requested quantity of the specified item is available. If so, it should reduce the quantity requested from the quantity available for the for the item and return true. It should it should reduce the quantity requested from the quantity available for that for that for that item and return true. Otherwise, it should return false. Test your code by using the given sample inputs. Verify your code using the second sample input. So if uh, menu and quantity available are veg roll, noodles, fried rice, soup. So veg roll 2, noodles available 200 items, uh, quantity, fried rice to 250, soup 3. Items order, veg roll 2, noodles 2. So it has to check the first one, it has to check whether veg roll is available in the uh, item list. Yes, it is available. Then it has to check whether the corresponding uh, quantity of the veg roll is it within the available limit. Two, so 2 is available. So now this check quantity available function has to reduce 2. Once the item is available, it has to give a message item is available. Then if it is within the limit, then it has to give a message uh, as item is um, available. Then it also has to reduce 2. Again for noodles, it has to give a message. It will check whether noodles is available in the item list. Then it checks with the quantity availability. Then the output should be veg roll is available, noodles is available. For the second one, let's look at the second one. So veg roll, noodles, fried rice, soup, quantities are 2,230. Two, two now the customer is ordering fried rice 2, soup 1. Uh, fried rice 2, so fried rice is a third index. Then 0, 1, 2, second index, 0, 1, 2, 3. Order, order number quantity is 2, which is within the limit. So we can say yes, uh, fried rice is available. And soup, soup is the last index, 0 is not available. So for soup, it has to give a message, uh, soup stock is over. Let's look at the code. So the explanation is given here very clearly. So this is a tuple, starts with a parenthesis, square bracket, you know, it is a list. So this method, method accepts the item followed by the quantity required by a customer in the format item, quantity required, item, quantity required, etc. So uh, in this example, two items are ordered with a quick quantity. In the second function call, three items order, are ordered with a quantity. So please read the instructions carefully. So we'll have to write the code here. Populate the item name in the below given print statements. Use it to display the output whenever applicable. Also, do not modify the text in the uh, text in it for verification to work. So, we will have to copy and paste it, these statements wherever needed. We should not modify otherwise because uh, the output is basically based on string match. So, again, here also, and uh, yeah, we will have to remove it and do the necessary uh, code. Okay. So, very clearly given, this verification is based on string match. So, let's look at the first function, place order. Place order is the function uh, through which we will pass the uh, values, uh, name of the item, the quantity, name of the item and quantity. So it is basically stored in a tuple. 
So we'll have to take item by item. So one by one we'll have to take. Then every single item we take, we'll have to check whether the item is a menu. Menu is a tuple. We'll have to check whether item is there in the menu. If the item is there in the menu, then again we'll we'll have to check whether the quantity is available. So in this time we'll call the function quantity available. Check quantity available. So when we pass function, we'll have to pass the index of the item. Say for example, if you take the uh, in this example fried rice quantity two soup quantity two two items are there and it's uh, quantity required. So here we'll have to take menu dot first item will be fried rice. So fried rice dot index of item name menu dot index menu fried rice index is two zero one two. Then we pass number of items required. So we know that number of items for loop for loop is currently value is zero. Number of uh, quantity required is first first index. This is zeroth index. This is first index. Second index, third index. So i plus one. I plus one is nothing but the index uh, mentions the quantity available. If it is true, if this function is going to return true, then you can say the stock is available. If this function is uh, check uh, quantity available function return false, then you can say stock is over. Then. And uh, if item is not in the menu, then we can straight away say that item is not available. So then let's look at the check quantity available. So we'll take the index of the item, then quantity required. So quantity requested is if it is less than the quantity available of index. Once we take the index of, look at this fried rice, and it's uh, equivalent uh, the corresponding value in the quantity available is three. If the quantity requested Is less than or equal to this value, then you can say uh, you can return true. But before that, you will have to reduce quantity requested from the total number of uh, I mean, from the quantity available list. So quantity available list has three quantity requested or two, then three minus two it becomes one. That's how it works. Let's visualize this to understand better. Menu is a tuple. Quantity uh, available is a list. The program flow starts from place order function. It goes up. Tuple item tuple is a when it comes to the asterisk, it will no matter how many parameters, how many values we pass across, all that will be stored in the tuple. Then we take uh, index by index. We'll have to take zero, one, two, three. We'll have to iterate through all the elements available. Item name. Uh, I we taken first item name so item tuple of zero item tuple of I item tuple of I will have item name look at this item tuple is item name is fried rice first index we have taken a uh, fried rice then we check if item name in menu so menu is here yes fried rice is here it will return true if it is true then we go for a check quantity function we call it check quantity available function we pass two parameters menu dot index of item name comma Item of item tuple of i plus one. Item tuple of i plus one points to the quantity order two. We call this the program flow moves there. Index is two, second index. Fried rice is in a second index zero one two. Quantity requested are two. So this is the value we passed across. It checks quantity request is less than or is equal to quantity available. Quantity available of index right. So quantity available is this. Index is two, so the value is three. So two is less than or equal to three. Yes, condition is true. Then what we have to do? Then we we'll have to subtract this two from this three. It will it will become minus. It will become one now. Look at this. The count is uh, quantity available. Count is reduced. Then what we do? We return true. It returns true. Then if it is true, then we say item is available. Look at this. Item is available. Then we do the same for second value. Remember, one important thing is since items are available in alternate index, right? So I have given the step value in the loop. I have given the step value. Increment uh, value is a two. Look at this. Len of item tuple comma two. So i value from zero it will get it will get uh, from zero it will get incremented to next time it will be four if there are elements available. Same way now i don't know as we can. Soup, soup is in the second index. Soup is in is also in the menu. Yes. Then we move. If check quantity, check quantity. 
available menu dot index of item menu is this index of item is soup so soup i index is 3 it gives us it takes 3 third index it will take 3 then it also take the second this value because this is a quantity requested now we move on quantity requested so index is 3 quantity requested of 2 if you are able to identify the index of menu then we should also be able to get the available quantity by using its index 3 so soup index is 3 uh, so quantity available are 0 order quantity requested of 2 so we know that check quantity quantity available will return false why because quantity requested is 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 actually greater than the quantity available so it is going to return false so this return false if it returns false it will give a message saying stock is over look at this stock is over so you can try the other the third one as well soup stock is over verify this it says incorrect solution why because we need to verify it using we need to verify this using this this output fried rice 2 soup 1 so we need to verify this program using a second sample input so now it says correct solution take a look at the code The code is also available on my github page. I sincerely request you not to copy paste the code. Please try on your own. You may refer this whenever you need of some help.